Hello everyone, thank you for coming to my channel and now time to model some cool stuff. Open the right sidebar with N. Change cube dimensions to Z, 0 0.6 meters, X, 1 meter, Y, 1.5 meter. Click Ctrl plus A and apply scale. Go to modifier properties and add modifier bevel. Change segments to 3. Click the right mouse button and shade smooth. Switch to Edit Mode with Tab. Click Ctrl plus R to add a loop. Scroll the mouse wheel up to add one more loop. Press the left mouse button to confirm when you have added all the loops you want. Press the right mouse button to center the loops in the middle of the cube. Scale them along X axis with S plus X. Click Ctrl plus R to add a loop. Scroll the mouse wheel up to add one more loop. Press the left mouse click to confirm when you have added all the loops you want. Press the right mouse click to center the loops in the middle of the cube. Scale them along Y axis with S plus Y. Now add inside those two loops two more loops with Ctrl plus R and scale them with S plus Y. Do the same once again but on a different side. This time when scaling, scale along x-axis with S plus X. Switch from selecting edges to selecting faces with 3. Choose the whole loop with Alt plus left mouse click. While holding Shift, choose the other loop with Alt plus left mouse click. Scale them with S. Duplicate them with Shift plus D and press the right mouse click to return them back to the previous position. Click P, Selection, to make a new separate object out of it. Switch to Object Mode with Tab. Scale it with S. Change the render engine to Cycles and the device to GPU if your graphic card is better than the processor. Also turn on the noise in the viewport. Switch to Render Mode. Apply the bevel modifier that is on the bale. Go to Particle Properties and click on Plus. Switch from Emitter to Hair. Change hair length to 0.03 meters. Change number to 5000. Go to Hair Shape. Change tip to 1 meter and turn off Close Tip. Go to Children. Switch from Non to Interpolated. Go to Roughness. And change Endpoint to 0 0.125. I forgot to change the render amount from 100 to 10, so change that as well. Rename the first cube to Bale Hay. Rename the second cube to Bale Plastic. Scale a bit bale plastic with S if necessary. Choose bale hay and go to material properties. Rename material to bale hay. Choose bale plastic and go to material properties. Click minus to delete bale hay material. Click plus to add new and rename it to bale plastic. Change base color to black. Change roughness to 0 0.318. Choose bale hay. Place the cursor near the editing boundary and right click when you see the double sided arrow. Select vertical split and drag it to the left to create a new window. Open the shader editor in the window you just created. Click N to hide that sidebar on the right. Connect base color from principal BSDF with color from polar ramp. Connect Vector from Color Ramp with Vector from Noise Texture. Connect Vector from Noise Texture with Vector from Mapping. Connect Vector from Mapping with Object from Texture Coordinate. Change Scale from Noise Texture to 13.3. Change the first color in Color Ramp to some combination of light brown and yellow. Change the second color in Color Ramp to some light yellow.
click on the camera icon. Turn on camera to view so you can move the camera. Adjust the camera. Place cursor near the editing boundary and right click when you see the double sided arrow. This time select join areas and press the left mouse button to confirm joining. Change samples in render to 512 because there is no need for 4096 samples in this case. Click on render, render image. If you enjoyed learning Blender with me, consider subscribing. Bye, see you next time and until then I wish you all a great blending time.